Ha! Ah, yes, just another day of playing Jato, you know? We're gonna go ahead and play some cows. Because cows is a really fun set, though. I really enjoy it. So let's just go ahead and play some cows, you know? Have have some fun, spend a couple hours playing a really good set, though. Just, uh, wait, what? What is this? Oh, hold on a second, that's not something that's normal. Let's go head on here and figure out what the hell this is, and whoa, what? What the fu- Hey everybody, it's me, Logan ISL here, and I am finally back with a new upload. I know it's been a stupidly long time, and you could blame school for that, but hopefully soon we can be back to normal uploads. As you saw in the beginning of the video, there's a new hidden cipher text inside of Ring 2. So today, I'm going to tell you what this cipher text means, as well as what it will mean for the rest of the game. Because this text is a big one. So, let's just go ahead and hop straight into this. This text is hidden behind the Ring 2 building, as you saw. If you go straight from the cows portal and jump down, you'll be able to see it. It's very easy to find. As you can see, it has two tower frames which are pretty unrecognizable. Sure, they kind of look like some of the towers we are familiar with, but not exactly. Maybe the text will help us figure out what it means. At first, this text did stumble some people up, because everyone thinks when a cipher like this shows up, it's immediately a Caesar cipher, but that isn't the case. This is a different type of cipher, and I'm going to butcher this pronunciation, so bear with me. Vignier cipher? Vignier? Whatever, some stupid French cipher, right? This is a type of cipher that requires a special key that is required to go ahead and decode it. Which, you can see below the cipher text that there's a word that says life, which is the special key. So, if you go ahead and go into a translator and go ahead and put in the special key of life, you get a text that comes back that says, Two towers shall bring more life to this ring. So, what does this mean? Well, some people were speculating thinking that this was a hint that the Thanksgiving event was coming back this year. For those of you who do not know, in 2019, there was an event inside of Ring 2 for Thanksgiving. That was a special Thanksgiving-themed tower. However, this doesn't make any sense. Why would it be Thanksgiving 2021 when it says in specific about two different towers? And only the tower on the right is really a color scheme that would fit for a Thanksgiving tower. Some people also thought that this was something to deal with Garden of Eshal, which is the Guardian sub realm for Ring 2, which I'll talk about more in a future video. But it specifically says Ring 2, not some special sub realm or anything, and wouldn't there be a little bit more than two towers in a sub realm? Well, it didn't take long for some developers to actually go ahead and open their mouse as to what this is. Sure enough, this was not a Thanksgiving tower, or anything that had to deal with the Garden of Eshal. In fact, it was something much bigger, and could fix one of the game's biggest issues since the very beginning. News got out rather quickly by Yameter, there are going to be two new, permanent towers added to Ring 2. The tower on the left is a tower made by himself, Gamma and is going to be medium difficulty, and the one on the right is going to be hard difficulty, and is quote unquote made by somebody who is known for making classic towers. Which the person who typed this message said it was likely undiced or Azza. I agree with this, but I don't think it's going to be dice. The staff team has a huge trust issue with people who are not in their inner circle about stuff like this. So I really think it's Azza who is behind this one as they are a helper for Jato, and have made multiple floors in cows, so Azza already has quite a bit of experience. Ring 2 has been really infamous for having an insanely low number of towers, only featuring 9 towers in a citadel. So Ring 2 not only is going to get one permanent tower, but two being added, which makes sure that Ring 2 is no longer a super small ring, but fits in size compared to the rest of the game itself. However, in my opinion, I really do think that that second tower shouldn't have been hard difficulty. I think it would have been smarter to make this an intense tower, but however, I completely understand why they did this, because of beginners. So to be quite frank, I'm actually quite okay with two more easier towers for Ring 2, considering that the last one that was added was literally a debatedly like insane difficulty citadel. So, now let's go ahead and talk about two things. First, when are these towers even coming out? 
Well, with the way it has been talked about, it seems like that is going to be releasing with the Halloween event. Yes, you heard me right. Halloween is happening this year. So all of you 8-year-olds who are trying to blame me for no event this year have just been checkmated. In terms of what these towers are like, it does sound like that these towers have actually already been finished. Because Gamma has been talking about it in like a way that they're pretty much done. Gamma has talked about that he thinks that both of these towers are going to be pretty fun to speedrun, especially his own one. And asked about how quick it would be to speedrun it, he said around 7 minutes. I don't know if that's 7 minutes in speedrunning, 7 minutes average, or if he's even talking about the combined length of both of the towers. I guess we'll have to see when they release. But there is some very interesting language that I noticed in this post. So this could be very likely just be a translation thing from what Gamma said to this Discord message. However, this Discord message states that Gamma said that it will be releasing with Spookified Ring 2. And Spookified Ring 1 is going to include a major secret on release with it as well, but he won't say what it is. If this is how Gamma said it, I wonder if we will be seeing a Halloween event coming out in multiple phases again. Considering towers have to be bug tested and stuff, I really think Ring 2's update is coming a little bit later. Plus, if these towers are going to be like cows, where they're in-game first for bug testing by curators, good luck with these releasing anytime soon. Koya has sat for months now, with nothing done to it, and Cow sat for around a month before release. However, I do think that the Halloween event could actually be released any day now. I did some digging through Discord messages and saw that Gamma stated that Ring 1's newly decorated lobby for Halloween is complete, and it's just the secret left. I've noticed that the staff team hasn't talked about a specific new place for Halloween yet, so I wonder if the Halloween stuff is actually going to be put in Ring 1 and 2. This could be why there's a lack of teasers, because if this is the case, any picture they show is basically going to reveal what's happening. In terms of release, it depends I guess on when this secret Gamma is working on for the Halloween event is complete. I can't help but notice that, for those of you who do not know, Gameter is a scripter, and he's working on a secret. I wonder if this is actually a boss for Halloween. Very controversially, the staff team have talked about leaving out a boss for this year's Halloween event. So I wonder if Gameter is trying to do one by himself, so that people won't be mad about it on release. And that's what this so-called secret is going to be. I really can't see anyone willing to put this much work for a secret in the Ring 1 lobby. If there is an event place, it really doesn't make sense to me. Why Ring 1 and not in the event area? It also doesn't make sense to me that it seems like they're talking about it so much about these like spookified rings, like as if they're the main attraction if you get what I mean. And lastly, let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. I am going to be redoing Beginner's Guide Part 2 when this update releases with a complete new video. I will private the old one and release the new one and put into the playlist. So that's something to look forward to, I guess. Definitely wrenches a couple plans for November uploads, but uh, whatever. But, well, that's pretty much all I have for you today. Let me know what you think about these towers. Are they going to be a good fit for Ring 2? And if you're excited for this year's Halloween event, and event season in general. My name is Logan ISL, and have a good rest of your day. Bye bye!